This is my first test with MetaHuman Animator using my web camera as the camera input. The camera has no depth data. Instead, we will use machine learning to create this depth data. I can be happy. <laughs> I can be mad. I can be sad. Then I can be surprised. So this is using a plugin called Face Depth Frame Mancer by Xlip Dev. With this plugin, you can basically use whichever video that you want. It could come from an Android phone, it could come from a web camera. It doesn't really matter as long as it's a vertical video, 9 by 16 and at least 30 FPS. So the first step is to download the plugin and only costs $20, which is a bargain considering the features it has. When you download it, extract the folder and place it in the Unreal Engine installation folder, then engine, plugins, marketplace, and install it here to the engine. When you create the project, make sure that it's not a film and video template, which I usually use. It must be one of the game's presets, as that contains all the Python stuff we need. I'm going to just place this on the desktop. Okay, so we're in the project, and the first thing you need to do is enable the plugin. Let's find the plugin by searching for MetaHuman MH. And then we also need to enable the MetaHuman plugin after we've restarted. So just make sure to enable this. Next, we're going to create a new folder for animation. In this folder, we will right click and create a new folder and call this capture source. We will also create a new folder called video. And it's in this video folder that we will drag in our videos. So I have two clips captured using my web camera. The first one is the calibration pose. You've probably seen this before if you've done any MetaHuman animator stuff. The other one is a take. I'm going to save this. So with the plugin enabled, we can right click on the file media source, go to scripted asset actions and do a frame extraction. It will ask you if you want to include audio. So go ahead and choose yes or no. When you extract the frames, it will create files in the project folder. So Unreal asks if you want to import this as textures, which you don't want to. You just want to keep them there. I'm going to do the other one as well. So I'll right click and choose scripted asset actions, extract frames. Here it says that we already have done this process, but that was for another clip. So just go ahead and choose yes. And I'm going to move the file media source into the capture source folder just to keep things organized. Let's right click and create a new folder. I will call this CD for capture data. On the newly created image media source, I'm going to right click, go to scripted asset actions and start creating depth frames. When you click this, a window will open up and here you can play around with the settings. The only settings that you need to be aware of is the rotation angles, which is set at minus 15 degrees by default. So if we go ahead and preview the depth frames, you can see that the depth assumes that the camera has a upwards angle so that your shin is slightly facing outwards, which as you can see in the video image is incorrect, is directly front facing. So I will change this from minus 15 to zero in order to reflect how the image actually looks. So if I do something more extreme, like 40 degrees, you can see the result of that here. So I'm going to reset this to zero for I'm going to change the depth value scaler to minus one. You can think of this like a multiplier for the depth. But I will keep it at the default 0.2 here. 
for this example. When you're happy with all the settings, you can go ahead and click convert images to depth frames. This will start the processing of the frames and convert them into a 3D depth image. Depending on your hardware, this could take a while. So just be patient while this loads. When it's completed, it will automatically populate the slot here with the depth frames. So now you have the video frame source and the depth frame source already populated. You can go ahead and enable sound wave if you have sound in your take and click generate capture footage. This will create the capture data file that I mentioned previously. We can move this to the capture data folder to keep things organized. And from here, it's actually just the normal MetaHuman animator process. So I'm going to create a new folder called MetaHuman Identity, where we're going to place our MetaHuman Identity. Let's call this MetaHuman Identity underscore Michael version one. It will ask you to sign in to your Epic account as usual. So create the component from footage and let's use our newly created capture data file. If you click on the A button here, you can see our depth mesh that we created using the plugin. Let's promote the front frame, then do the angled ones. The order doesn't really matter. Just need left, right, like so, and do a MetaHuman Identity Solve. When this is done, I'm going to add a teeth pose and find my teeth pose uh, in the footage. Let's promote this frame. Then select a body type which is needed for the mesh to metahuman solve. Let's wait for a bit while it thinks. And then in this triangle, you can see that we only have prepare for performance left. So let's train the metahuman identity for performance. When all of this is done, you can save and exit the window. Let's right click and create a new folder called metahuman performance. Let's create a new metahuman performance asset. And in the data inspector, let's select our capture data from the calibration. And then our newly created MetaHuman identity. Let's change the head movement mode to control rig. And then if you'd like, you could if you'd like, you could change to another start frame. Uh, which sets the in and out point here. But I'm going to process the whole clip. So just hit process and it will go through the entire clip three times using the RGB video and then also our newly created depth data. Let's right click and create a new folder. Let's call this level sequence. Then let's remove the metahuman performance from the file name and then save this. We can go ahead and click create. Let's drag in the audio from the recording. Open up the level sequence, add a audio track and then select our audio from the recording. So that's basically the whole process. Very similar to the regular MetaHuman uh, animator process, just with the extra step that you have to create the depth frames using this plugin. This is my first test with MetaHuman animator using my web camera as the camera input. The camera has no depth data. Instead, we will use machine learning to create this depth data. I can be happy. <laughs> I can be mad. I can be sad. Then I can be surprised. 
an extremely handy plugin, letting anyone with an Android or a Windows with a web camera shoot some really high quality MetaHuman Animator face capture. Highly recommend downloading this plugin today and give it a go. Let me know if you have any questions about it. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! If you liked this video, then you might perhaps like my other videos, like this one.